in this first fight now we got Ramona Pasquale. She's going to be taking on Tamaris Vidal. This is going to be in the women's bantamweight division. And Ramona Pasquale, she's potentially getting her final chance to get a win in the UFC. Her first two UFC fights have not gone as planned. She's 0-2 to start her career. She fought two decent fighters who are on, on the friend of the top 15 in Jocelyn Nunes and Jocelyn Edwards. She was semi-competitive in both fights, but clearly lost. And before coming to the UFC, she did have three first-round finishes in a row. So she must get back to that confidence and performance level on Saturday. Her opponent, Tamaris Vidal, she's a Brazilian fighter. She's not only going to be making her debut in the UFC, but it's also going to be her first fight outside of Brazil. And Tamaris Vidal has earned this UFC contract the hard way. Her last four fights have been against pretty good fighters, the best fighters that Vidal could find outside the UFC. She didn't pat her record at all. She began her UFC or MA career, excuse me, one and three. She fought Carol Rosa, who was nine and three when she was one and zero. Oh. And obviously, Rosa ended up becoming a high level UFC fighter. And she also, since then, recently has gone on and fought girls like Yana Gadelia, who's an Invicta fighter, who's four and one, a PFL fighter named Martina Jindrova. She fought Eileen Perez, who's in the UFC currently. And then lastly, she fought uh, Kila Braga, who's four and one. So UFC level competition should not be much of a step up for Vidal. And for Tamaris Vidal, she's not a good striker yet. She has decent movement speed, but tends to just wing a big overhand right, throw some kicks, but not really all that effective. Fires with good footwork that can keep the pressure. We'll be able to beat her up from range. And she's tough. She will continue to look to close the distance, come forward, and make it a grappling match. But right now, she has rudimentary striking, I would say. She is a grappler, and she's good at closing the distance, working into the upper body clinches. She tries to take fighters down against the cage, and she has good clinch control against the cage. She uh, isn't an elite wrestler, but she has good cardio. She's relentless, and she'll press with her weight on fighters against the cage, wear them down, get them tired, and then start to take over. And she was taking down herself in her fight with Martina Jindrova. Jindrova was able to hit a couple of judo takedowns, but never really could cement position on Vidal. And in her fight with Elon Perez, Vidal was definitely put on her back for extended periods of time. And one thing you have to worry about with Vidal is if you take her down, she is aggressive. She'll attack with leg locks that she's very good with. She was able to threaten Perez with several heel hooks. She got a heel hook finish in her last fight. And Aline Perez, she was able to defend the attacks from Vidal off her back and control on top, get her tired. And Vidal was able to be competitive in that fight. But eventually in the third round, she got hit with some illegal shots and ended up getting the win by DQ. But it looked like she was going to lose that fight by being grinded out. But, you know, she got a point taken away in that press fight as well. And you could tell that she definitely is someone that if you give her a chance to get a point taken or win by DQ, she's going to probably take it. But when Vidal gets in top position, she's super heavy. She's hard to get up from under. She has a couple submission wins, but she's more about um, position over submission and very good control fighter. So Ramona Pasquale, she's a grappler as well. She's big for the weight. She's strong in the clinch. She has good knees there. And I think this fight's probably going to be won by who can control the clinch positions against the cage. For Pasquale, I haven't really seen many opponents try to take her down, really. I did see a fight between her and Jinsu Wu, where Wu had a lot of success controlling Pasquale against the cage, and I anticipate Pasquale is going to have the game plan of trying to stay at distance and strike in this one, and then when Vidal tries to clinch, she needs to try to make her pay with the heavy knees and then disengage. In that range, Pasquale has some pretty heavy kicks. She probably has the better hands, but both girls in this matchup don't have great boxing skills. Pasquale is going to be looking to pull her into that big left cross or the overhand left and her right hook. She is Southpaw. Footwork wise, she isn't Floyd Mayweather or anything, but I think she's this pure footwork comparison of Vidal. She needs to try to use her feet to keep the distance and not get back to the cage. And this fight being in the apex and small cage, I think favors Tamaris Vidal. And um Pascal, she is super tough. She's willing to take damage to give damage. She proved that in her fight with Josie and Nunez, where she got knocked down multiple times. And you know in this fight that Ramona Pascal is going to be pulling out all the stops to win. I'm sure she's going to be very well conditioned. She's going to have a good game plan. But in this fight, I most definitely think that Tamaris Vidal could potentially have a lot of success holding Pascal against the cage. Vidal sometimes doesn't do much in those positions in terms of offense. So the referee could also play a factor in this fight if he's breaking them up often. But 
I see Vidal as a superior grappler by a pretty large margin. And the clinch, I think she's superior, should be able to control. I think on the ground, on top, she could even possibly get a TKO or submission. Even off her back, I think she'll be able to get the better of it there by sweeping or submitting Pasquale. Pasquale at range with her big kicks and her straight and overhand left is where I think she has the advantage. She needs to attack the body with her knees as well on the inside. And I think Vidal is a better athlete, and I think she's going to be able to time some takedowns or at least double unhooks and control against the fence. And I just don't really have faith in Pasquale to beat an opponent with her striking only. In this fight, she's outgunned where she's at her best, which is the wrestling and grappling. And unless she lands a really well-timed knee to the body that closes the show, I don't really see her winning. I think that Vidal can get the finish on the ground too. So I'm going to say it's going to be a second or third round TKO or submission victory for Tamaris Vidal. I think this fight not going to decision could be a solid play if it's at the right uh, price here for a bet. Because I think there's an outside chance that Pasquale is able to catch a knee and stop Vidal. But more than likely, I think Vidal can get it to the ground at some point after Pasquale gets a little bit tired and then find the finish there. So for me, I'm going to pick the newcomer here. I'm going to pick Tamaris Vidal to win via second round submission.